Hello everyone, welcome to this HNG tutorial on how to use auto layout while using Figma. <laughs> so, auto layout allows you to create dynamic frames that respond to content or objects, and you can use auto layout to create designs that can expand or lessen as you change your objects within them. In this video, I'll be showing you how to work with auto layout on your design, and I'll be using a room section, this room section on this hotel website that I had created earlier. If you notice I've created a style guide and some content I'll be working with so to make what work um, easier and faster. So first of all I'll go over here, I'll be creating a new desktop frame, then bring this over here, then I'll make this you know um make this this exact same color I have with that. So I also want to add lay grid layout grids i'll make this colon instead then i'll make this count one i'll make this zero and i'll make this 80. there you go i would for me to start i want to show you how to create buttons um, buttons on using auto layout start how many start first then I've clicked the test button and I'll do it in this button down here. All I just need to do is all I just need to do is press shift A automatically for the layout. Once you press shift A it automatically turns to um, a layout and it creates a new frame for you like I said earlier. So now the horizontal button is set to 10, the vertical button set to 10, the space between is set to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So all I just have to do right now is make this look more like a button. So take it up a bit. Zoom out a bit. Um drag this up a bit so I can be closer to my style guide. I'll just come down here to click on flip fill. Take this, take this, take that then i'll change this let's use white so it can be very visible but i'm not quite comfortable with the settings i have here because that's not the right what you think to do at the moment so i'll take this to 12 the red scalp was on top i need to for 24 then the red scalp adding and so i'll leave this as 10 then i'll leave the font size at change this to 16 instead so it can be you know unique then I'll just work on this a bit, change this to 5, so it looks more curvy. So now, there you have it, the button. That's a wonderful size of it. Then I'll just take this somewhere around here, just dump it here for a while, then I'll come back to it later. Um. So now let's create, how to create, let's, let me show you another way how to use auto layout. On, I use auto layout in creating this. So, first of all, I would, you know, come down here and let me test to I'll click on the king bed I test so you can either click on T or you would up here and cl click T then now uh, let me increase this a bit to something let's say that 6 I don't really like the color is full black so I'll change the color to what I used for here so yeah Go. Then let me write all that text. The king bed. So yeah, I'll just change this font size to um, 20, 20, then I change the color, 
I really like the color so I'll change it to something like this there we have it yeah so now I want to start creating I'm just creating auto layout I'll hold this do this down I'll select this content and I'll select this I want the spacing between to be 16 just for selecting shape then I just press shift A an auto layout has been made already another frame has been made let's remain this to buttons the layout has been made already so now all I just need to do is come down here and add whatever I want to add to it let me see duplicate this old alt down alt and drag it duplicates automatically so once I take this and I want to add it to it notice something I hold um control I hold this and I take it and I take control can notice it's making me this blue light stream where I don't want it here I don't want it here I want it down so it takes me here also if I also want it up I can do the same but I don't want it up for let me show you what next I want to do I want to have the rectangle so I'll make this uniform I already had the calculation have a calculation I'm working with so I'll make this 400 now to add this I will just come here and which control you can see same thing but I don't want it down here I want it up there you go there you have it my frame has been created yeah that's it frame created so next stop I want to show you another beautiful thing about auto layouts I would duplicate this by holding alt drag okay then I take this and I take this let me reduce this yeah. Then now look at this. Auto layout also allows you to create components. I've created auto layout so I can make it a component. So I just come down here, I click create component, or I come here and I click here. Component has been created. This is a parent component. The funny thing now is I can also create another permit. So making the child component, and I'll just take this over here. That was exactly what I did then. So it's not looking like this so let's just make it like this we'll just reduce this to let me name switch 300 yeah so there we have it if you notice the changes here is affected here but doesn't affect us we didn't use this as a component we only use this so let me change this to double bed and single bed yeah then double Yeah, we're forgetting this one the content okay let's now bring everything together so we can make everything look okay yeah, we sent that already so just make it distance between 12 and 24 notice it shifted up a bit that's not what i want so i'll just take this up a bit so you can align with this yeah so now next stop I want to do now is bring this button here I'm not comfortable with what's inside and the funny thing about the button is you can put reach whatever you want and it doesn't distort it in any way you can see it's increasing it doesn't distort it at all but I'll just use this I want to use this instead I want to use book No. So here we have it. It's been created already, and we're good to go. So everything I've done here has been done here easily with the use of the layout. Just the only thing missing is just me, you know, adding images to this, and we can do that using the plugins, using Unsplash. I use Unsplash for it. So. All I just need to do is just come here and make sure I select the rectangle is selected. I'll click on search, I'll click on bed, 
or that any which one I'll just select one yeah select if you notice because it's the parent component it affects this one but I don't really want it to have the same images so I come down and I just change it no we're using anyone not looking for a particular bed to use so let's just use this now the same thing goes for this i will just use this i saw one down there just now yeah i'll just use this so the king size bed so yeah there you have it how to use auto layout with figma it's actually quite easy because it makes your work you know neater and easier and faster because the time you will spend in creating one like trying to adjust and all that auto layout just makes it easier for you so there you have it thank you very much for listening and watching do have a lovely day